Moath works hard every day to provide for his family. They fled Yemen last year after Saudi Arabia and its allies launched a military campaign against Houthi rebels. The war in Yemen forced us to flee to Somalia. God willing, when the situation in Yemen returns to normal, we'll go back. We are grateful to the Somalis, who are doing everything they can to help us. More than 9,000 Yemenis now live in Puntland, a semi-autonomous region in northeast Somalia. Very few, though, have found work. Yemenis are proud, self-reliant people. We can't depend on someone else. Thank God I managed to find a job as an engineer, but other Yemenis have not been so fortunate. Most Yemeni refugees live in rented accommodation. International charities give families $150 a month to live on. The families say it doesn't cover the cost of their rent, water and electricity bills. We urge our brothers in the Gulf and in the Arab and Muslim worlds to help their brothers in Puntland, Mogadishu and Hargeisa. They're in desperate need. We also urge the government of Yemen to help us. Other refugees are stuck in reception centres where conditions are basic. The refugee numbers are huge. They need food, education and health care. The government and people of the Puntland region have made great efforts, but we urge everyone else to do more. Somalia is one of the poorest countries in the world, its economy devastated by decades of conflict, recurring droughts and a lack of infrastructure. The fact that people flee here is a sign of how bad it is in Yemen. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.